The season's over. Everybody run. It. We're tanking. We're tanking. We're officially in tank mode. Is it because Sorokin is not as good as Shesterkin? Shut up. Yeah, throw me that. Yeah, why not? Hello, and welcome back to Belmont Bunch. And let me tell you, tonight, I was wearing this on the train, and I was wearing this during the game. Right? Am I right? They weren't good tonight. <laughs> Uh, the Islanders lose 5-1 and then have now given up 11 goals in two games. This is not optimal. Um, Sam Bennett scored a hat-trick. Not optimal. Uh, one of them was a wraparound. I, I, I'm still not sure if Sorokin should have gotten around to it, but uh, so far, whoa. So far, uh, they're not getting big saves. They're not reacting quickly enough on defense. That was evidenced by the Duclair goal, where uh, a little bit slow to react after the Panthers blocked their shot, immediately sprung Anthony Duclair, who did, to be fair, excellent play to stick the puck down, and then his deke around Sorokin. The big one for Sorokin that could have been stopped was the hat-trick goal for Duclair, which officially not officially, which unofficially ended the Islanders' chances of coming back in this game. So that was not fun. That seems like a simple wrist shot from the point uh, that he just does not get. And uh, Wallstrom got one that got us back in it for about a minute. That was before the third Bennett goal. A little bit out of order tonight. But Wallstrom, uh, nice goal. Big goal for him because he's going to be in a competition all year with uh, probably like Bellows on that third line. Um, so... I guess generally speaking, just what do you do? I would say generally stay the course. I, I think the offense, it just needs a few chances to go. The power play has been bad, but tonight I saw an improvement. So there is something there. It's not completely dead. Uh, Parise has looked, you know, invested. Uh, James, update your computer. Um, the Parise has looked invested. Uh, Paul Mary has looked good. So there's stuff there, and it's not a total uh, wash. Um, but the and, and, and the first two games were against two good teams, and the Islanders still got to find their way a little bit. And Sorokin needs to make a few more big saves uh, to keep the team in it for now. Uh, because Zdeno Chara, uh, who was on the goal for four of the five goals tonight and was on the ice for a lot of the goals uh, in the first game, is just not cutting it. And I liked that signing in the offseason uh, for the sentimental value that it had but not for the, oh yeah, this guy's a top four defenseman for us. That was never, ever something that I thought was going to work out too well. And uh, so that's why I thought Gustafsson would stay instead of Ajo. So I was a little bit surprised by that. Um, Ajo, the good thing, the good news, uh, Trotz is already talking about uh, giving Ajo a shot. He said that in the, the post game. So uh, that is good because uh, I think it's very obvious that Chara cannot play more than half the games. They're in a bad spot if he plays more than half the games because he cannot match uh, the foot speed of some of these more talented teams like Florida. Florida um, wasn't incredible. You know, like I, they weren't like that much better than the Islanders. They weren't four goals better than the Islanders, but they're more efficient with their chances uh, and they got some saves. Uh, uh, there was one on the power play, a nice one-timer. I think it was from Barzal that got stopped by Bobrovsky who played pretty well. Um, and I'm not in panic mode yet because the Islanders haven't been terrible in these games. Um, they need some goaltending. Like I said, they probably need Chara to not play. Um, and we'll see what happens, how quickly they make a move. Um, for now, you just hope that they can fill in with someone that isn't Zdeno Chara. And, uh, you need a few more saves from Sorokin. And uh, you need Varlamov back because uh, I don't want Corey Schneider to get into a game either. Because uh, I'm not going to jump to conclusions and say I'd rather have Schneider in uh, than Sorokin just because of these two games. Because Corey Schneider, whew, don't think he's got it at the NHL level anymore. That's the video. 0-2, uh, no points so far. It is now dawning on me how daunting this 13-game road trip is going to be. Not fun. You start off with two really good teams. Uh, we'll see if it gets any better from here, but it's over 11,000 miles of traveling. So if they win six of the 13, I'll be happy. So that's that's it for now. We'll see you next time on Belmont Bunch. Um, stay off Twitter.
That's Tom's golden advice for today. Except uh, only to like Belmont Bunch posts and retweet it and follow it. Also, James would want me to say this. If you want to listen to this, instead of looking at my face, look at the link in the description to find it on Apple Podcasts and uh, Spotify. And uh, you can avoid my face. For this episode, maybe preferable. I, I, I walked through rain for you. So maybe show some appreciation. Sorry, ow, my face. All right, that's how we're going to end the video. Okay. All right, bye. You can end it now.